All right, well, you know what time it is. It's Millennium County time. <laughs> and uh, as promised, I said I'd do periodical. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run this into one video eventually, but right now I just wanted to show what I did on my engine shed. I did paint it brick red. It looks pretty good. It's almost even sort of... I shot it in a way where it looks almost weathered, which... You know, I did it that way on purpose. I'm getting pretty good with the airbrush. That's just the outside, and I still got to flip it all over later on and do the inside. I think I'm going to do the inside like a uh, a very light blue, which you would normally see in something like that. And then, of course, you know, there's a lot of uh, pieces that'll get painted different colors for entire inside, like the others. Uh, looks like the uh, steel girders. Or like an overhead crane. I'll do those either gray or something like that. I'm not sure yet. So, and there's my airbrush. <laughs> Compressor and brush. That's a great thing. That was one of my better investments. So anyway, uh, oh, and I finished the bridge that I won. Um, from Uncle Vinny. Or Cousin Vinny. I don't like to keep calling him Uncle. Cousin Vinny. I assembled it last night. I'm going to paint it. So and then I'm, I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet, but I'm going to find a place to put it on the layout because, you know, I don't usually win things. And I figure that's really cool and i gotta, I got to utilize it. So when I figure out where I'm going to put it and I get it in place, I'll go ahead and videotape that too. So other than that, that's where we're at. So stay tuned for part two of... The engine shed. I'll probably show you the color of the inside after it's sprayed. And uh, we'll go along that way and do little little segments. I'm not sure what I'll um, actually... How I'm actually going to do this. Whether I'm going to actually post the small segments or just combine it all into one, one big segment. It would probably be better that way. And go from there. So... Until then, let me get my ugly mug in here. I'm wearing my eye patch today. Uh, before I had all these problems with my heart, I was in the middle of cataract surgery. Well, they did the right eye, and that's good, and I got perfect vision in it because I used to wear glasses. But I couldn't get the left eye done because of the heart issues. So I finally got clearance. And on August 13th, I'm going to get the left eye done. And believe me, I cannot wait because you have no idea how hard it is to work with one eye. <laughs> and I can't wear the patch all the time either because I find it irritating. So a lot of times I just, you know, whatever. Anyway, I'll be back shortly, whenever that will actually be, with part two of the engine shed. So stay tuned. All right, <laughs> now I've got the inside walls painted the light blue. So that should be very reflective, I hope. And the inside of the roof is also blue, but the outside I painted gray. And I'm coating the girders now. Also gray. A lot of painting to be done here. And I guess that's about it. I got some black parts that I got to paint, but I probably won't even waste my time videotaping that. But that's where I'm at so far, and we'll just keep on going. Next segment, we'll probably start showing some of the build. I hope. We'll see. So anyway, stay tuned. And we'll be back again soon. Alright, this is what I've got so far. I did most of the assembly without videoing it because <laughs> I've been working on this thing for like 10 hours. <laughs> it's not quite finished yet, but we're getting close. All the exterior walls are put together. There's the light bars up top. That's these right here. 
the motor assembly is in. I've got it clamped now for gluing. There's the back part of it. There's the other side. And of course, there's the front. I don't have any of the decals on yet. I still got to wire up the LEDs for inside. That's what those wires hanging out are for. And I've got to put the trim. I'm not sure what you'd call that, but it's the trim pieces that, you know, like this one here. I'll actually go on the side like so. To give it a finished look, I still got to paint the other one. These were all originally black, and I didn't think the black would look that good. I thought concrete would look better. So, I'll end for now because my other dog is going crazy playing with stuff. <laughs> I'm telling you, that dog ain't right. There she is. She's a crazy dog. She's playing with her toy. Beating it to death. That's her oxy. <laughs> and there's Turbo. And there's Buddy. And underneath the desk is Sadie. <laughs> that's my that's my animal brood. All right, well, listen, I'll be back in a few, uh, in a little bit when I get some more done on my engine shed. So stay tuned. Bye for now. And here we have the finished engine shed. I got a lot of details in it, which I don't know how much of this you're actually going to be able to see because of the... Uh, the cameras aren't that good. I'll probably take a bunch of still shots in greater detail, but there's the front of it. There's the side. There's the back. And there's the other side. Now we take the roof off. And, see if we can take a look down inside there. Oh, oh. I'll tell you, just don't get up like I used to. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Now, there's some details in there. There's some equipment, there's some men. Well, like I said, I don't know how much you can actually see of this. But it's all in there. So... Let's take a look at the front. Oh. Yeah, how much you can see in there. There's a couple of guys in there. Yeah. I said I'll take some still shots because they do way better than the... Uh, than the video camera does. These things aren't really designed for this type of work. But it's finished. Like I said, I'll include some still photos. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up for now. The next time you see the engine shed will be on the layout and operational. And I'll do a short video on that. So thanks again for watching. And Watch it to the end. You'll see some still shots because they'll be after this. And you'll get a pretty good idea of what's going on. Overall, not a bad deal for something I've invested over $200 in. Closer to 250 but, you know, you get what you pay for. So anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, still waiting to see some, or hear from some, I, some, yeah, I can't talk today. I'm hoping somebody other than David from Crooked River is going to send in some uh, ideas for a logo. 
I haven't received anything yet. Come on, I know you guys are pretty creative. And I'm pretty sure you can come up with something. And you never know. Even if it looks dumb to you, I may like it. So, come on. I want to end this, this uh, contest soon. I don't want to drag it out for years. <laughs> so send in your ideas. And I'll see which one I like and which one I'm actually going to go with. Alright, well that's it for now, so keep it on the rails. We'll see you later.